Plastic waste is entering our oceans at a staggering rate of 11 million tons a year. And if we don't take action, there could be more plastic than fish by 2050. To stop the plastic entering the oceans, we need to find where it's coming from. This begins by measuring how and where plastic waste is generated. And it's different for every city. The people, their neighborhoods, and places they work are all factors, along with tourism, festivals, and events. Managing all this waste is a huge operation. From recycling centers, waste treatment, and fleets of garbage trucks, to individual street sweepers and informal waste collectors. Understanding every stage of the process is how you spot where plastic is leaking out into the environment. It could be overflowing bins, inefficient transport, or poor storage at landfills. Flushed waste and illegal dumping are also to blame. Once plastic waste leaves the management cycle, it's just a matter of time until it reaches the ocean. Whether flowing through storm drains, picked up by the wind and blown into rivers, or washed off the land during heavy rain. By measuring the data routinely collected by waste management operations and researchers on the ground, it can be added to a pollution calculator, so you can measure what kinds of plastic are accumulating and pinpoint the plastic leakage hotspots so you can apply fixes to keep it out of marine environments.